these are what we're going to use. We use some coconut oil, some pudding cream, color activator cream, a detangling brush, and a toothbrush. I'll start by applying a generous amount of coconut oil on my hair. You don't really have to use coconut oil, you can use any oil that you have. You can use either castor oil, olive oil, just any oil that you have. And remember to apply a generous amount, generous amount. Don't be too mean to your own hair. Now we'll start making our knots. Remember, I've partitioned my hair using my fingers and you can use a comb. But I just like using my fingers. We are twisting it in one direction. You can either go clockwise or anti-clockwise. Just go with the one you are most comfortable with. And don't, be, don't make it too tight or too loose. If it is too tight, it won't be comfortable. And it will be a bit painful and I don't want to feel any pain so I just make it a bit loose but not too loose as again. You see that I'm rolling it down and we definitely have our first knot and I'm happy. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> I love the knot, it has come out nicely. Have you understood the way we've done it? If you've not, then don't worry. Just be keen on this second one. I'll just partition using my fingers. Remember, I've not blow dry my hair. It's zero heat. No heat, no blow dry at all. That's what I wanted for this year, but I don't mean it doesn't mean that heat is bad for your hair, but too much of heat definitely it won't do you any good. Remember to apply the cream on on the partition you've just made. Don't put too much of it and don't put too little because you definitely don't want to waste your products. And you don't want to put too little as well. So just roll it. See there I'm rolling it. Just roll it. Ready to start it now. It's time to roll it down to make the knot. Just hold down with your index finger just so that it doesn't spoil in the process. I hope you've understood the way I've done the first two knots, so I'll just go a bit faster. Let me know what you think about this protective hairstyle in the comment section. There are many ways of doing bantu knots. There are so many styles of doing bantu knots. I'll just show you in my next tutorials how to do the other types. Bantu knot is one of my best protective hairstyle. It's simple, less time consuming. And easy, easy to install. I think you don't need an ex an expert to do to do bantu knots. You can just do it yourself. I know you can do it. See, my hair is so thick, and the hairline is just full. I've not been straining my hair, especially the hairline, because just been installing some protective hairstyles.
if you are keen you can see the hair on, on the sides are a bit shorter than the hair in the middle part that's the hair i had just i was shaving before i started keeping long hair again so the style i i shaved the last is the one that left my hair that way but it's okay i'm just fine with it maybe you didn't even realize that the sides were a bit shorter but now you know just twist your hair in one direction don't let your product spill over I'm sure you don't want to waste your products natural hair products sometimes can be a bit expensive so you you definitely you definitely don't want to waste them We're almost done with the front part. You see my photo up there, the screen. That's how I rocked my hair on this weekend. And I love it, I love it so much. I really love my hair. I did this hair in around 30 minutes, so it's, n it's less time consuming, yes, we are almost done, it's the last knot, just twist it, and we are done, we have our knots, what do you think about the knots? Now we'll use some some gel. In this case, I'm going to use Eco Styler gel on my hairline. You know, you can't you can't have a grip on all the hair, so we'll just make them dry. And to make the front part to look a bit neater, so I'll just use my toothbrush to make them dry. I know you are wondering what we are going to use the toothbrush for, right? And we never used the detangling brush because I realized that my hair was full. I had detangled my hair well, so there was no need for a detangling brush. So that's why I didn't use it. You can see the hairline is looking neater now. just wipe off the ones that are going onto my face and we have one knot I'm happy I love them I love my knots so much what do you think about the knots let me know in the comment section I love them so much and thank you for watching kindly subscribe don't forget to leave a comment bye